Look, Vespaquen is a sick Pokemon. It has an amazing design, it's got a cool concept, overall amazing Pokemon. But, it sucks. So I've made it my goal to try to destroy some stuff with this thing. Call me the beekeeper, because I'm out here, well I guess I just have one bee. But, I do have a sweet team, and it's got Vespaquen on it, and it's got a lot of other fun stuff. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free, it only takes you like one second, and I'm on my way to 300k this year, and it would really help me out. So let's go ahead and get ourselves into the match. Now my opponent is going to be leading off with the Ball Monkey, and I decide to lead off with Pepto Bismol Ampharos. As this is a decent matchup for me, I mostly just want to get a nice little Volt Switch. Uh, I imagine this thing will probably U-turn, however, it ends up going for the Trick. So this thing is going to go ahead and give me its Choice Scarf as I give him my vest. He's looking nice and dapper in my Assault Vest. And uh, I also realized Pissimian Hey cannot learn Trick. So that only means one thing. That is, it's actually a Zorark. So I go for the Volt Switch there, get a decent bit of damage, and this thing reveals its true self. So uh, this gives me a pretty decent option to switch into something faster than that. And that's mostly just going to be my Choice Scarf Metacham. So... Metacham has an interesting matchup here easily, of course I kill this thing with a fighting move, however I know that they have uh, the fairy type in the Wigglytuff on their team, so I'm thinking I'm going to try to catch that thing switching in off guard, go for the poison jab instead, and he actually ends up staying in, but poison jab kills anyway, so that is totally fine. Grabbing an early kill is always nice, but now the bad news is Metacham's nipples are here for the taking as now I'm just kind of a sitting duck as uh, the Quillfish comes in, is able to intimidate me, and I'm stuck into poison jab. So. I have to get my ass out of here, and I decide I'm going to go into the Vespaquen. I'm thinking this thing for sure tries to go for some hazards. I'm thinking spikes or something like that. I can get the Vespaquen in for free, look cool while doing it, and then try to get something going. So now I come in, I assert some pressure just to assert dominance, and he does in fact end up going for the spikes. So the plan with this Vespaquen is when building this Pokemon with its snatched ass waist, I was thinking, okay, I have to try to maximize damage somehow, and that is through the form of max special attack, and a choice spec. So the way to actually maximize damage is in fact using, you know, the highest damage flying move, and that is Hurricane. Unfortunately, Hurricane sucks ass, and that it misses if you're not in the rain. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. Trying to get Vespiquen to do something, sometimes you gotta roll the dice. So I missed the first one, that's fine. He's gonna end up switching out, goes into the Wigglytuff. You'll notice I took that poison jab from that thing amazingly, it's because I got some HP investment as well. Uh, but I do land the Hurricane this time, and it hits the uh, Wigglytuff for some pretty decent damage. Now, at this point, I'm starting to believe in Vespiquen. Believe. And I don't want it to die quite yet. I don't need to stay in here, go for Hurricane. It's not quite going to knock that thing out. And I don't want to take unnecessary damage. So I decide to switch out, save the Vespiquen for later. That thing is going to be extremely important for the late game, and you will see why. But uh, I decide to switch into Crazy Ass Sandy Pretzel, and he ends up actually going for the Fire Blast. Does hit it, and gets a critical hit. And now my pretzel bot burnt his shit, and I don't really have anything to do with this Sandaconda now. I kind of just wanted to get this thing in, and if that thing wanted a Stealth Rock or something, I could try to get my rocks up. Uh, I am actually faster, so I am able to get my Stealth Rock up here, but it's going to mean uh, that essentially this thing just takes me out. So, that is totally fine, because now I just get a free switch into the Wigglytuff, and I have a couple different options for that. So, Vespaquin does have uh, the Sludge Bomb. I don't know if I quite want to lock myself into that, but what I can do instead is go into the Absolute Poison Type Goat, switch into ballin' real quick, and uh, <laughs> intimidate this thing for absolutely no reason. Uh, but I can just easily knock this thing out with the poison jab. So, Quillfish is here. It, it does, in, in fact, give it competitive, but, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I easily outspeed and poison jab right to the right to the nose does take out Wigglytuff. So, good to see the true OG ballin' grab and a kill. Leave a comment if you actually remember what this thing's from. But, anyway, down goes Wigglytuff, and now Quillfish is over here just flying through the air like the balloon he is and he gets the free switch into the Gummy Bear. So, Ursa Ring is an interesting Pokemon these days, and that is because this thing has the ability to use the Eviolite, and it's a super bulky Pokemon, and a lot of the time you're gonna see people running, yeah, you just kind of a max bulk set on this thing. Um, so, I decided to switch into the Cloth. I'm thinking I'm not gonna be able to do too much damage with the Quillfish here, and I'm gonna go into the Amazing Blue Crab. So, the plan here is to take a normal type attack easily. I can try to set up on this Pokemon, and I know that it's not gonna be able to quite kill me if I go for the Terra Water. So, I'm gonna get my ass extra blue. I'm thinking I go Terra Water, that would allow me to live a fighting move, activate my Citrus Berry and my Anger Shell ability, and then I can just start, you know, profit with this cloth. So, I'm actually gonna end up going for the Swords Dance as well, because this fella is gonna need all the help he can get against Bulky Ursaring. But, 
Gummy Bear has other plans and just decides to switch directly into King Julian, the actual one. We have not quite seen the real Passimian yet, but this thing is very scary because now a uh, fighting move does still threaten me, but it's going to have to try to probably go for the Terra Fighting to be able to knock me out. So, like I said, I make my crab extra blue. I'm now water type. I'm able to just take neutral damage from fighting. And this cloth, I've built this thing to be pretty defensive. It's definitely... It's trained in a way that it's expected to get its anger shell, so it can kind of take those other stats and invest them into defenses. So, I go for the Swords Dance on the switch in here, and I'm thinking, okay, this thing probably has to tear a fighting to kill me with a close combat. If it doesn't do so, uh, it's going to knock me to red, it's going to go ahead and get me into anger shell, plus the Swords Dance, and this thing just dies. So, it do actually end up going for the Terra fighting. To my surprise, it's kind of the worst case scenario here, and now, uh, with the Terra, a close combat from you know, Max Attack Passimian, is probably gonna knock me out. So he's gonna go ahead and go for that close combat with the freaking punching glove on his head, and that does take care of Eugene Crab. So that is kind of unfortunate. I was almost thinking, hey, maybe Cloth just goes absolutely crazy this match, but it didn't quite work out for me, and down I go while also wasting my Terra. So that is quite unfortunate. But it's good to know that they also use their Terra, so there's gonna be no crazy type change shenanigans. And now I decide to go into the meta champ. So I'm thinking Choice Scarf, I can outspeed, go right for uh, the Zen Headbutt, and then boom, Dead Monkey. And then the stage is kind of set to potentially get Vespaquen to finish off the rest of the match if <laughs> the stars can align. That's kind of what you need. So I do go for the Zen Headbutt um, with my thick ass thighs. That is gonna take care of King Julian, and while it did take care of the cloth, uh, the thing is no more. So, now they're down to three Pokemon. He's got Quillfish, Ursaring, and a Clyotzer. So, he's gonna decide to go into the Gumby Bear, knowing that I'm locked into Zen Headbutt and not a fighting move. This thing can likely just go for a Play Rough or something like that, and then Metacham hurts. So, I decide to switch into Quillfish. That's also good because I can get an Intimidate, and then potentially Vespaquin can come in easier and take attacks from this thing once it's at minus one and Intimidated, but uh, regardless, I switch into Ballin real quick, get that Intimidate, super nice. I uh, do get hurt by some spikes, which I literally am spikes. So I should be immune to spikes, for real. Uh, but does go for the play rough there, and I take that super nicely. And at this point, I can uh, try to just start getting some damage off on this thing. Um, I end up going for the poison jab, kind of a bad idea if this thing is guts. And I do actually end up getting the poison, but it doesn't matter, because as you're going to see, this thing just ends up going for the rest. So... <laughs> Uh, he's going to go ahead and just sleep off the old poison, get himself back to full HP, and you can tell the bulk of this thing is going to be pretty ridiculous to kill. Plus, these things are generally going to be carrying sleep talk if they're the rest set. So, I'm curious to see if this thing ends up staying in. Knowing that they're at minus one attack, they probably end up switching out. But regardless, I stay in just to let Balin do his thing um, and, and try to get a free switch back into the Vespaquen. But they're going to end up switching into the Quillfish of their own. So, lots of switching in real quick to the Quillfish. This thing does intimidate me, and of course, we would just resist our our own stabs and it's just kind of a it's kind of an interesting situation here with the old the old balloon fish so uh, and <laughs> liquidation does pretty much nothing i lose some hp to the life orb and now i'm thinking okay the door is kind of open for vespiquen if, if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen right now so i'm gonna go ahead and switch into the queen the queen bee coming in i don't have to worry about taking spikes there is no stealth rock setup, and I know that I can take an attack from this thing pretty easily. So, I go into the Vespaquen. The Quillfish actually ends up going for the Toxic Spikes. Now, I imagine that's because they want to get the Toxic Spikes on the Metacham to slowly whittle that thing down. I suppose along with the Ampharos as well. But, the main issue at hand is that Vespaquen is here. I got my little wings flapping, and we are ready to do some damage. So, I still want to just lock myself into Hurricane because just trying to maximize damage here. So, I go for that Choice Specs. Stab Hurricane. They're going to end up switching into the Clytes or thinking, hey, it's just a Vespaquin. What's the worst that can happen? I'll tell you what, Big Meaty Claws. A Hurricane right to the face is actually going to end up just knocking this thing out after Stealth Rock damage, which is amazing. Vespaquin grabbing his first kill of the match, and I'll tell you what, they got some more to go. So, now they go into the, the Gummy Bear. So, Ursa Ring, we know this thing's relatively defensive, but we also know it is sleeping, and I'm pretty defensive myself. This thing likely doesn't have a whole lot of investment in attack if it's going to be bulky, so uh, it is going to go ahead and stay asleep here. It does go for the sleep talk, and it's basically a roll to see what attack it gets. It turns out it is going to, in fact, get the play rough, and that knocks me down to 60 HP, but I land another hurricane, and I'll tell you what, that does more than enough for one more to kill. Plus, this thing still has a turn of sleep, so it has to roll the sleep talk. Uh, it does, in fact, stay asleep, goes for that sleep talk. I'm thinking, please don't get the attack here. And it turns out it's actually going to end up getting rest, which is amazing. So now I just have to land my hurricane to kill this gummy bear. And I do because this Vespaquen 
does not miss. I swear to God. It must be the, the choice specs makes her see better. So <laughs> two kills. We're logging a kill streak on the Vespic one here. And now the very last Pokemon is going to be Mrs. Puff. We know we've seen the damage from Poison Jab from this thing. And I should be able to take one at this health because this Vespiquen, like I said before, is as thick as a bowl of oatmeal on a cold day. So, goes for the poison jab. I'm thinking, please live. I do live it with 14 HP. Connect on another hurricane somehow. I truly don't understand how this thing is hitting so many hurricanes. But the power of Vespiquen has truly been unleashed. And I just straight up grabbed myself a three kill streak UAV and <laughs> finish off half of this man's team with the Queen Bee. Believe that.